Hey, what's happening, guys? It's Tyler from Nintendo News Network, and today we're going to be talking about all the secrets and Easter eggs for Splatoon. Here we go. In the testing area, which you can access while pressing Y within the Ammo Knight's shop, there is a basketball hoop. And if you can toss your sub-weapon into the hoop, then the Inklings will say a celebration around you, along with a green splat effect occurring around the hoop. There are stickers seen all throughout the single-player campaign, especially in the hub world, and these stickers actually reference other Nintendo games, especially the older 8-bit games. For example, you can find stickers of bloopers and Octoroks within Zone 4. Once you collect every sunken scroll seen within the single-player campaign, and flip through them in succession quickly enough, you will see that the doodles on the bottom right hand corner of all of the scrolls are actually a flipbook animation showing off a Zapfish, Judd, and Sheldon. If you stare at the Squid Sisters long enough, they'll wave at you. Urchin Underpass actually has some mosaic style 8 bit street art that depicts some of the older Nintendo enemies, once again, like bloopers and Octoroks. Most of the sunken scrolls either reference human history or famous human artists. As the scrolls can go from referencing ancient Egypt, to the Bible, to the evolution of man, to the Loch Ness Monster, to the Golden Voyager record, to actual humans playing the Wii U. One of these scrolls in particular, the 23rd scroll, also has a melody typed in on the scroll itself, and states that it's so popular it should as well be carved into the squid's DNA. This is actually the boss fight song, and I guess it's very popular with both the squids and the kids. According to an Edge article, Inklings get full control of their squid and human forms by age 14. Since the playable Inklings seem to have full control of their squid and human forms, one can assume that they are at least 14 years old. The color scheme of the chairs in the studio that the Squid Sisters record from are actually based on the last match that a player had battled in. The main color is the bad guys, while the arrows on the chair are the good guys. The music heard within the multiplayer games of Splatoon in the lore of the game is supposedly coming from two fictional bands called the Squid Squad and Chirpy Chirps. The more rock-centric songs that are called unnamed multiplayer songs 1, 2, 3, and 4, along with the one minute remaining theme, is made by Squid Squad. The Squid Squad members are called Sin, Vo, Ba, and Durr, obviously representing synth vocals, bass, and drums. The actual album cover for their music is seen within the very first loading screen. The Chirpy Chirps were introduced during the August 2.0 update, and they are supposed to be a chiptune-style band. However, in Japan, they're actually called ABXY, which is likely a reference to the face buttons on the Wii U gamepad. Their members are unnamed, but they also have an album cover, which can be seen within the game. And also, this member has a t-shirt that looks like Pink Floyd's Dark Side of the Moon. The clownfish that is seen within the Cooler Heads shop dealer, who is named Annie and also is one of the members of ABXY, is actually not for decoration. That is a live clownfish that helps run the shop, and sometimes will actually criticize the player based on their their style and choice of what to wear. But anyways, that was all these secrets and easter eggs I could find on the game Splatoon. If I missed anything, please tell me in the comment section below, and maybe I'll have enough content to be able to make a part two to this video. So anyways, thanks for watching guys, as you know, I'm Tyler McVicker, this is Nintendo News Network, have a good day guys, adios.